All right. All right, YouTube, today we're going to play a little bit of Ironworks. This is the best deck in the format. And I played it a little bit um, a couple months ago and ended up putting it down because I was um, struggling with some of the mechanics. And it was just a little, it was just difficult. It was a little too, like, I, I picked it up too close to a Grand Prix and was just, wasn't ready for it. But since then, the deck has innovated and it's gotten even better. It's added the Spine of Ishla, which is just a sweet, you know, kind of main deck answer that is also part of a loop. And then it's added these sighs. When I was, when I was playing the deck, the sigh was a part of the deck but it was in the sideboard. When I first came back and revisited this and saw that people were playing size in the main deck, it kind of gave me a little bit of a head scratcher because it's kind of a grindy card. It turns on removal. But then I realized the format's not really about right now. It's not, there's not a lot of killing of creatures and size also just a really good combo piece. Sometimes you'll get bottlenecked in ma with mana when going off, you don't have like a Mox Opal or an Engineered Explosives to loop. And Psy just gives you, it turns every artifact you play into plus two mana. That if you ever find a way to filter your draws, then you can filter your mana, then you can actually draw cards mid kind of fishing with Psy. It kind of lets you, because you'll have some of those awkward draws where you can't make colored mana because you have a Chromatic Sphere instead of a Chromatic Star. Psy lets you cast the star, cast the sphere, sack mana, then filter it and still be up. So you can just continue like fishing. So yeah, the deck has a bunch of different loops in it. I don't know all of them. I know the basic ones, you know, the the two scrap trawlers, one mirror retriever, or, you know, then you have opal pyrite spell bomb, which is the easiest one. I know the uh cost loop, but the cost loop is the worst one to do on Moto. Um, then there are many others. There's a there's a loop that includes Spine. Those are the changes. Minus one coast, plus one forest, sideboard minus one grid, ether grid, plus one fire spell, plus one negate. And you liked it, Andy? I just grabbed I just grabbed the first list I saw with two sides and played it. But um, yeah, this is what we're gonna do. This deck is busted. Like I, I, I came back um, after I scrubbed out the Invitational, loaded this deck up, like had a beer or two and was playing it. And I think I played two leagues. I went like 7-3 with it. And the losses were really my, my, my fault. Like I timed out of one of them and, um, and I made, I think I made a mistake in another one. So... I mean, a couple of my other matches. I went 13 2 over the RPGs. He went, the other guy was undefeated. It's a difficult deck to play, especially if you haven't played it in paper, because unless you can learn on the fly, because there's a lot of mechanics and dexterity things that come with it. Like you have to be able to resolve your resolve everything, keep yourself organized. It was something that I had issues with and why I ultimately didn't play it at the Grand Prix. That I brought the deck to. Um, uh, this hand's not that great, but I think it's kind of hard to mulligan a turn three Ironworks with like the ability to cast, um, the ability to cast like an explosives to interact. So I'm gonna keep this hand. It's like a turn three Ironworks with like mana also. Should I play this island? If somebody told me this is, a, I, I'd probably mulligan this if I was on a draw. But if somebody told me, like, yeah, this hand's not good enough, I would get that. But it's like this card's so important that I just kind of want to start with one in it. Yeah. All right. So those are like playing in spirits. If I had to guess. All right. It's kind of a lackluster draw step. I could have just. I could like have, I don't know, maybe this this explosive should be nice at least. Okay, so we're gonna get the ironworks down now 
while, oh wow. So I kind of want to have as much mana in play next turn when I go off. Because like next turn I can go like Dark Seal Citadel, play Ironworks, then play Inventor's Fair. But then I'm still not really doing that much, so maybe I want the color. But I can just play this and get the colors for Engineer Explosives next turn. I have to remember to overpay for EE in case um, I have to play into the face of a spell color. Image. Okay. Oh, that kind of screws me a little bit because I don't have all three colors of mana. But if we hit here, we can definitely... Okay, so we we missed. This is where if I would have played... I should have played my Grove because then I could play Coast. I wonder if I can still go for it. Like, play this Inventor's Fair, get it, sack this, and then go fishing. No, I have the Mox Opal. I'm stupid. I'm very stupid. Super stupid. I almost had a moment there. Yeah, I, I would only have like one draw at it. I was just like derp. Hmm. So the nice thing is I can kind of just leave this right here because then next turn it lets me play around a spell color. Right? Because if I leave this here. Next turn, if I hit something that's effective, yeah, I think I'm just going to leave my explosives hanging around here. Because mana is not going to be an issue. I can pop this whenever I want. So let's just leave it here. Because now that it's in play, okay. All right. So now I think we're going to go for it. So let's... Sack this, sack this, go get this here, not have to be, Coco and Selfless would be rough, but, yeah, oh yeah, I didn't tap them for mana, I just got like, looked over here and I was thinking about the thing and I just went over my head. Okay, so now let's get this, add green, play this. I just want to get as much stuff into play first so that if they go to path my scrap trawler that I can get the most things. Now I'm short two mana where if we would have... Okay, so here comes... So they hit Spell Queller into selfless spirit, then I'm in trouble. And then I just scoop it up. Welcome back to KCI. It's nonstop thinking. Yeah, there's a lot going on. <clears throat> yeah, because if we hadn't tapped those two for mana, and we'd have blown, like... If we would have had to blown this up, we could have, you know, cost ourselves a draw off of these, which matters. So I want this, I want my nature's claims. And I kind of want some number of my removal, but this is probably too many cards to board in here. No, just wanted to play something different. So cards I don't really want. I have no idea how to sideboard this. Let me pull up canisters thingamajigger. 
Because they have, like, individual pieces that I want to kill. But I don't want to over sideboard and dilute my deck. Because I want to be able to deal with, rest in peace, nature's claim. Yep. Yep. Let me look here. All right, pulling this thing up here. Here's to play against Bant Spirits. He just cuts four cards, it looks like. Oh, wow, he cuts a lot. Okay. So we're on the draw. So he cuts. I have to do this quickly. I was doing, like, I've got Canister's thing here up here right now. So he cuts one of these, one of these. This, a scrap trawler in the Mind Stones. And two Terrarians brings in four Nature's Claims, Lightning Bolt, Gal Blast, Fire Spout, Sigh. And I'm going to leave in one more Ironworks. Because this list is a little bit different than what Canister did. So I'm going to go like this. I actually did pretty well with Death Shadow at the Invitational. I went 3-1 in my first league, and I beat my first leg. I beat one of the guys that top aided, Zach, Cl Zach Clinny, Klein, something like that. But then the wheels came off in standard, where I won 3 You threw one as well? Yep. Um, I will keep this hand. Oh shoot, I shouldn't have kept I shouldn't have kept this hand. This hand's like just stone dead to stony silence. Which I didn't even think about. Alright, um Start with this one. And we'll leave this mox in my hand. <laughs> yep. Was not a good weekend. Okay, so we're not getting stony silenced. Looks like they have a beatdown draw. Okay, so now we're searching for land. Probably should have played my this. Should have played this one to be able to cycle it. <clears throat> Take the inventor's fair because that can turn into something. And then next turn, if we draw a land, we can kind of go for it, <clears throat> or at least start fishing. All right, we can't do that. Maybe I should have kept some of these up. Always yield. Probably should have kept some of these up to cycle. All right, I'm very good at this game. Which is something I should think about, at least to give myself like a draw out to the Stony Silence. <clears throat> Just gonna play this. Then pass. They're gonna have to tap mana eventually, and then we can blow the Stony Silence up. We have an explosives or something for the next thing. And we're happy to just take one at a time because this thing right here literally is gonna fix this for us. <clears throat> so I could just jam the ironworks, but that seems kind of loose.
think we're okay just kind of playing Drago for now. I could I could run out like an EE for two. Especially considering my opponent's like not doing anything to us. Especially that we have this going on. Selfless spirit, okay. So now they have a little bit of a clock. Oh man, if that land had been able to tap, I could have just ran this ironworks out and still been able to blow this up. Yeah, I think we're just gonna pass. Just play Drago for now. Phantasmal image. Okay. Let's take six. I guess we, because next turn we take eight. This is likely not to resolve here. But let's get a spell caller. Yep. So now we have to just rip one of these like a professional. Okay. Two, four, twelve. Okay, so we've got one more turn to bite our time here. Is there? There's nothing that I can search that gets me out of this. I guess it could be the spine, but the spine doesn't do anything. So I'm just gonna play the ironworks. Just to have it in play. And then Hope we rip here. Let's just do now. Nah, we can't even do anything with this. All right, scoop it up. We get stony silenced. <clears throat> Which happens. I think Band Spirit is supposed to be kind of a rough matchup. For us. But let's submit it again. I feel like you not main phasing that claim was bad. Which turn do you think, Andy? Like, are you talking about like trying to force it earlier in the game and making them have it, or? Not much, Freedmania. Like I should have tried to make it happen quicker. Um, immediately when you drew it, they were tapped out, right? No, they had, they had. Uh, I thought they had three men up for the entire game after they played it. As soon as, soon as I had claim, I thought they had three men up, and if I didn't, then I was one hundred percent wrong to do it. I think I'm gonna keep this hand. We have a scrap trawler and an agent stirrings. And we have a pyrite spell bomb that can like shoot something. But we did just. It's not very fast. I think I actually do better than this. We did. 
I definitely drew it in past because I thought they had spell color mana up. And if they didn't have spell color mana up, then I then I was a complete pun. All right, let's put this on the bottom. Lost my winner name at the PT and my RPTQ, pretty bummed. Yeah, that's tough. It's definitely tough. So I could just cycle this, make a red, and shoot this thing, but I would like to be able to shoot a Thalia if I have to. <coughs> so I think we're just going to hold off here. Because Mausoleum Water doesn't really do anything. Like, we'll shoot it. If they play a, a Stony Town to rest in peace, then we'll just shoot it on their turn. Maybe I'll just shoot it anyways to hopefully find my third land. Okay, so can I shoot this with the? No, we're gonna have to do that. I'm gonna have to do that next turn. I probably should have just killed this thing, but let's just do this now. So we draw a card. By them getting rid of that spell bomb, this means that now we have to win with Psy, because that's our only win condition, but that's going to be alright. We're going to be able to do enough with Psy that we just overpower what they're doing. I did go to the MV. Yep. I did not do super well. Any order. Play this. And now let's just not make, let's not bottle ourselves here. Just get rid of this. So we have to win with Psy. Okay, they got us. It's okay, we can still side them out of the game here. And Psy will help turn us on, like, we can make our artifacts still do something even through the Stony Silence. Because Psy is the one that's doing the work for us. Yeah, I went 3-1 into 1-3. Okay. So this just has to mean we can do something, right? 1-2, they sack this, we're still good. So yeah, I'm just going to do this now while they are tapped out. And now, do we want to go fishing? So we float a mana, we can play something. We can't play the Mox, though, if I float this thing. But I do kind of want to hit a land drop to be able to at least cast this Ironworks next turn. But I could just go, like, sack, sack, draw three cards. Or draw two cards. In my, but I only need to find one artifact in order to do that. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go, I'm going to attack or block here and then just go like sack, sack both of these to see if I can find a hit for my ironworks next turn. Noble Hierarch is good. Selfless Spirit is good. I could have also looked for a Gal Blast to deal with this with this Thalia, I guess. Because now I have to find a land. Yeah, maybe that was loose. Yeah, I think I, think I messed up. Play blue one 
sack, sack. All right, there's a wellspring. And that, all right, nice. All right, let's start with this. I'm going to turn this on. <clears throat> I think I can actually just attack with my Psy because they can't, they, if they go double block, no, we don't want to attack with Psy, that's stupid. <clears throat> we do have three more Psy's to help us win the game, though. So we should be able to power through this Thalia, even with, um, we should be able to power through Thalia because of Psy. I'm just going to take this. Okay, so we're going for it next turn. All right, we're going to hold our land. Because if we hit a... Uh, hey, how's it going, Nameless? If we hit a whatever it is, we're going to want to... Um, if we hit like a land that does something, we're going to want to go for... Go for Gusto here. So let's sack this. That's not bad. So this is damage to each creature green. Red was to this damage to each creature green with flying. Wait. If if Fire Spout does three damage to each creature without flying, if red is cast this to each green okay so we can just wipe we can't wipe their board is it better to just draw a card it's probably better to just draw a card then because we can do this with our mox opal if we need to but it only trades for selfless spirit so I'm actually just gonna play this And then sack these two. Yeah. All right, cast this. Hopefully we stirring into something good. It's not like we're going to die next turn. This only sacks for one. <clears throat> so I can take an EE. I guess I'm not going to take an engineer explosive. We're going to take this Kermat, this Terrarian, and just try to keep going. Because I can already like wipe their board next turn and just like block out. No, I have to. I need like, yeah, that's not going to do it. Okay, so now we just pass, and then next turn, we can try again. <clears throat> I 
kind of just want to take this. It's only eight. I want to leave all these in play for next turn. Alternatively, I could throw four in front of the Geist to get them to crack their self of spirit. But like, this still doesn't really do that much. Yeah, I think, well, it shuts off my blue mana here. I'm going to block with one here because I want to be able to draw cards with Psy. Jeez. All right, so I think we probably start by getting a Sinker Wellspring back. And we want to leave up as much mana as possible. So let's sack one. We want to leave up colored mana, so let's just sack one of these. Get back in Icker Wellspring. Go like this. Get one back with Psy. Maybe I was too aggressive doing this because we can just get wrecked by spell color. I don't know. There's a lot. To, there's a lot going on. Okay. Unified will. <clears throat> okay, unified will happens. I probably should bolt this self with spirit now to get this thing off the battlefield. So that I can engineer explosives next turn if I need to. Or not engineer fire spout. And then we'll just block block some things, draw more cards with Psy. And then we'll untap and we'll try again. We can fire spout if we need to. I have to make sure I have to make sure my opal's on. So let's just block one. Might as well just block both of them. And then just turns off my opal, but we hit a land, which kind of sucks. One, two, three, four. So I guess I can start with Fire Spout. Fire Spout costs four, which and then five, so I have that covered. So Red, green, uh, I don't have to give them a life there. I shouldn't have. Yes, pay one for Mausoleum Wanderer. All right, now we pass, and then we try next turn. I'm not going to attack. I mean, they, they, they would have probably spell colored that, but there's no sense in attacking into, like, something that can get me in trouble. We should be good here now to go nuts. No, shoot. 
was dumb. Now I have to do this the hard way. All right, chromatic sphere. Any order. Cast this. We're gonna add green. Yeah, see, like super punished. Just like uber, uber, uber punished. I'm under no pressure, so I can just wait again. It's like next turn I can go get Scrap Trawler and we can start going. We can start doing some things. Well, so much for that. I guess I can go get Engineer Explosives. Alright, let's do this right. Oh no, we get rid of our EE. No, it's right here. Okay. Green, blue, done. EE for two, get a token. Blow this up. So now. We can go Psy, I, mean, I, don't really, I really don't want to sack any artifacts. I think we're just going to pass again, because all I need is to go off is like one big turn, and then just like a couple attack phases. <laughs> any reason not to get Spine over EE? Yeah, Spine was probably right, Ruds. I haven't played, I haven't played too, too much of this, but like the Spine was probably very, very right to do. I'm just going to take this. All right, come on. All right, here we go. So we really don't need much. We just need to, like, chain off a little bit then have a couple attack phases. Here we go. We're going to hold our lands. We're just going to do all this right this time. I wish I, I wish I knew how to like get rid of that okay there. All right, Gal Blast, not bad. And we can continue to draw cards with Psy if we need to. Okay, so now we go blue, sack, sack, play this, sack this. We can stack one more of these. Now we can just sack the ironworks. One of these to sigh. Want to leave blue mana up? We're probably gonna time out, but I want to leave blue mana up here for to be able to draw cards with sigh. I need a scrap trawler. So if I find scrap trawler. All right, we didn't find that. So let's just shoot this. I 
Then next turn, we'll get Adventures Fair. We go get um, Scrab Trawler, and then we can have another big turn where we hopefully can just kill them in one attack. All right, that's pretty good as well. Play this. Triggered Sigh. All right, they hit a Spell Color. Well, now this is going to get hard. Well, I guess we can go get the Spine. Yeah, so now we'll get the Spine. Yeah, there's a lot going on, Andy. I'm, I'm not going to claim to play this super great at all. Especially considering I'm, I'm running short on time here. Okay. Get back Icker Wellspring. Always yield. Always yield. Okay. Gets back Terrarian. Hit this. This gets back Mox Opal. We draw a card. Cast. Yeah, because we were gonna, we we're certainly gonna win this game. I think if we get enough attack phases here. Which I should have gotten the wellspring there, but didn't. Because we have 10 power in play right now. Okay, so I think I'm actually just going to go like this. Go to combat. Attack. Pass, then right click attack with all, right click attack with all. Still going to do right click attack with all. So all I have to do is attack them and shoot them with Gal Blast, and I'm good. Maybe not anymore. They had the blocker. Because I could have only done... I needed to clear the Noble Hierarch to win them there, but... We got that one, which is good. Even though we played it kind of sloppy, I think the best way to do, like, I had to fish that turn, which made things a little hard. But, so Andy, you saying you would have played that last turn different when I was, uh, when I was, like, going nuts with the, uh, um, when I was going nuts with, or trying to, create or get cards with Psy. Let me restart Moto here. So let me just put this back on here. The restart Moto in between like every game here. Yeah, my answer was to sack not a lot to KCI, but sack to Psy. This is the hard part about streaming because it's hard to exactly remember when um, that was. 
but you're probably right, I would assume there. How's it going, Cody? We're playing modern, Cody. You can't play modern on Arena. Though one day they'll have it on Arena. I'm very sure. Let's put this back on here. I think I would have ended up with this in my board state, but less cards. I have to put more cards in hand. Nope. Oh, looks like we are had a little bit of a frame drop there. But it's nice to know. I mean, I think we played that game pretty well. Like we like I was pretty glad that I identified that I needed to win with Psy quickly because my I had to get the there was I guess I could have been more patient and maybe tried to win with the Pyrite spell bomb. I do have to play a little quicker though, because like the streaming probs. So you played this deck without the defense grid of the ether grid and just a negate and a uh, another fire spout, Andy. Here we go. But that's why the deck's just nuts now that it's like evolved even more to have this spine and the size. Like, you can just win so, like, much, much easier than you used to be able to. I'm going to put my computer glasses on. There's a lot of stare in here. All right, I would like to play first. And we'll keep this. We're going to go Chromatic Sphere, Grove, and then next turn, um, next turn, Crack It, and then Stirrings, probably. Oh, uh, we're playing against Death Shadow. Gross. You gonna stub me, bro? Yeah, maybe I was supposed to wait, but okay. Oh, that's such a bad matchup. Oh wow, they don't have anything. No discard spells. Unfortunately, we do not have anything either. I think it was a good keep in the dark with two redraws and I should be giving them life. I was I was just messing up there. They're just doing the snapcaster here. They should be at two more life, or at least one more life point. Here's our stream. I'll play it and we will hang out and people Just making plays, no time to think. Yeah. I should be giving them life total life points here for this reason. Okay. So let's go like this, cast this. Yeah, that's what I wasn't. I didn't have it going on in paper, like when I was playing it. Like I had, like the, when I took it to the Grand Prix, it was the first time I'd ever played it in paper. I think they should have thought scoured in response to that Mind Stone. We can still win next turn. Like, if they don't have a Stubborn Denial here, like, I don't know what they can have. Like, they must just have a boatload of removal spells. Okay. Well, that, well they were due. Yeah, that, the reading that guy did was very good. So they're just sitting on Stubborn Denial here. Okay, so... Start off here. Then oh, I should have 
done that differently. Not going to show in the Buried Ruin. Because I, I should give myself the option to shoot the Snapcaster Mage with the, the Grove. That was stupid. But I guess I actually can still do that. Like I can go like shoot, like filter red, shoot the Snapcaster Mage. There's actually a reasonable chance that we, we go off next turn if our Ironworks resolves. This thing is really this thing is really cool. So this is 10 damage. So we might as well let this through. Because they can't kill us. Leave everything in play. So one, two, three, four, five. I don't have to play my land yet, so let's go here. I should play my land in case they have two stubborn denials. Okay. You have Street Race Stubborn Denial. You have Street Wraith, my friend. Because I will pay. Yes. Okay. So now let's get the Scrap Trawler in play with as much in play as possible. So let's go here. This brings back Scrappy T. We should sack these. I'm going to go sack this spell bomb. Sack here. We have a spell bomb in play, but we have to pay colorless, right? To get that. We kind of have an awkward setup here with our mana. but So we're actually going to first get rid of this, make green. Get back Dark Steel Citadel. What? I didn't make green. What? Oh, I drew the Avengers Fair. Okay. So now let's sack this. This gets back Chromatic Sphere. Always yield. Always yield. Second Scrap Trawlers. Probably good night, Irene. A Mox Opal here would be nice just to help with mana. But we currently don't have that. I would like more mana, but guy can't always get what he wants here. Okay, so now we go sack this, get back Hicker Wellspring. I'm gonna be a little less noticing with the chat here, but like kind of like rules of thumb when playing this deck is you wanna sack the lower things first if you can. So this and this, always yield. As soon as we find a Mox Opal, we're like golden. All right, get play Terrarian. Always yield. Because like if we had a Mox Opal, we would be making mana here. And we could like a, be just a mirror retriever away from killing our opponent. I should just stack automatically. Stack abilities automatically. Okay, so now we have another little end game here. So we're gonna go like this. Actually, this, that was stupid because it's the same thing to do it with Icar Wellspring. This gets back to Rarian. Show me a Mox Opal. There's like sequencing things here that likely could be done easier that I'm spending a little time thinking about because I want to get this, I want to find a Mox Opal. So let's make mana. 
here. Because as soon as we find Psy, we're in good shape. We're fine. Get blue mana. We're in pretty solid shape here. I'm in a little bit of a tough spot still. Yeah, it's going to. I, I think I think it's going to. We're just doing this to make mana because we're gonna be able to draw plenty of cards. Three. No, we'll go like this. I'm in a little bit of a. I am in a little bit of a tough spot. I wish I had a Mox Opal. I don't want to run out of mana. Like Mox Opal, and I'm all set. This gets back Terrarian. I might just be missing a way to do this. So now we go like this. We have five mana. So now we make a blue. Play. This gets back here. I just want to make sure I had enough. This is tough to do while streaming, Rob. Okay, so now our opponent's dead. Because now we don't have a mana issue. This gets back whatever. Spine. So now we go here. We actually make green off of this to Ancient Stirrings. All right, well, second. Now, I should be able to just kill my opponent now, or if I get three Scrap Trawlers, I can kill my opponent. I don't know this loop, because I think three Trawlers does it. Yeah, three Trawlers kills my opponent. So let's go like this. Sack here. Sack here. Get Ironworks into play, I think. Because I play this Ironworks. Sack this. Go get another Scrap Trawler. Sack this. Play a Scrap Trawler. Play just a Dinky. Let me get three scrap trawlers in play, and then I'm going to go for what I'm looking to do here. Okay. Yeah, the scythe opters are pretty sweet. The problem is we still haven't hit a mox opal, which is a little annoying. So, like, I have to go here, sack this, this gets back... Where is it? Chromatic Sphere. This gets back. Icker Wellspring. This gets back. Pyrite. Where is Pyrite Spellbomb? Right here. So now we go Sphere. Cast Sphere. Make me. This is like. Yeah, my opponent's probably like just tapping out. Oh shoot. See, this is why it's hard to this is hard to play on Moto. I just messed it up. I want to just find the mirror retriever. Like, where's the mirror retriever? If I find the mirror retriever, I'm in good shape. Yeah, I could just spine them out of the game also, but so let's just do this right. Okay, make red mana. Shoot them. Play another scrap. Or we go here. Get this. Get this. Oh, we have the opal now, so now we're now we don't have to loop another one of these. This is annoying. It's because like there's not like a super good way to do this. So now I get this. 
So sack here. Play this thing. This thing brings back Pyrite Spellbomb. All right, there's Mirror Retriever. So okay, so now I can actually just demonstrate the loop for. There are plenty of people that know, obviously, but. So now we go sack this. This gets back Pyrite Spellbomb. This gets back doesn't matter. This gets back doesn't matter. These all come to my hand. Make red mana. Play spell bomb. Shoot them. Get back Mox Opal. Now we go sack this. This gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. This gets back something. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. We have an extra one in here, which is making this like a second click, but we don't need all of this here. Red. Play this. Shoot them. Get this back. Actually, I'm not even going to play the second Scrap Trawler. So now we go sack this Scrap Trawler. This Scrap Trawler gets back Mirror Retriever. This gets back Pyrite Spellbomb. There was probably like a much easier way to do that than the way that I went about it. It's just like I don't really have time on Moto to sit there and figure it out like on the fly. No, oh, that was the that wasn't the spell bomb I thought it was. And now we just sack this. Get the spell bomb back. And then shoot them. And we got it, ladies and gentlemen. A little harder than we thought it was going to. Excuse me. Okay. Whoo! Spine is infinite with KCI plus Trawler. Yeah. Are you going to go to... Sorry, I've got to catch up with the chat now. So, are you going to go to Columbus? No, I'm not going to go to Columbus. So I could have gone Mindstone, one mana egg, Opal is... Okay, that's a good thing to know. Yeah, watching this Omega War. I'm going to go watch Pink Dragon Lover soon. Thank you, Cody. Bet your opponent's taking it up. Yeah, well, they, they weren't actually going to scoop, right? Like, they've shown the runs that I've got to actually, like, kill them. Because, you know, they're just like that. Which is like, whatever, you know? All right, while my opponent chills, I'm going to grab some water. The sad part about that, yeah, you definitely save clock time by blowing up their board, presenting lethal with spine. Or lethal with Scythopters. Okay. Yeah, I should have just done that. I didn't even think about it. Like, I was so, like, tunneled in, you know, to, uh, to trying to get it done, you know? That's what I should have done, for sure. We'll do that in the next game. So I think that he just brings in Psy. And he just, like, like after reading Candace's article, he's like, yeah, you, just, you can't actually beat Leyline. So there's no sense to even try it because you can't dilute the deck that much. So I'm going to try this. I think it's actually right for Shadow Decks to not play Leyline right now. Like I think that Leyline is suboptimal at the moment for the Death Shadow Decks. Like the, the only matchup where you really, really want... It against is uh, like you want it against um, whatever it is. Um, 
Yeah, I'm going to keep this. Just knock on a mulligan against this deck. I get to play around Surgical Extraction, which is going to be difficult. But... It's nice that we have two, two, oh no, they don't even have a discard spell. That's awesome. And we're just going to play Grove, give them a life, play Star. Nice. So let's just play this Star. I'm going to play this Opal too so it doesn't get Thought Seized. Because they're probably going to take my Icker Wellspring, or at least they should. Wow, they kept their fetch land? So they must want the top card. My opponent should beat me. This is like one of the best, if not the best, matchups in the format for Death Shadow. So you have to take Wellspring, I think. I can't jam, um, I likely can't play a Psy next turn, unless I draw a Darksteel Citadel. Yep, I took Wellspring. Ooh. One, two, three, four. I think we're just going to pass. Well... I should have done this beforehand. All right, back to where we were. And then I'm gonna definitely. I think I'm gonna play Psy over the Ironworks next turn because the Psy can't get stubbed, and they likely, they might not have left in ways to kill Psy after sideboard. You gotta remember that to, that to do ways out of it, like just kill their permanents and then kill them with Psy. is better way to do it on Moto than presenting loops. And that's just the hard part of it being Moto inexperienced with this deck, because I think in paper it's like we get a Gurmag Angler here, a Braid. Okay, that's pretty weak. It's a very weak of Braid, in my opinion. Give them a life. My opponent must have kept like a very bad hand. Because they should just be running me over and they're not going to, which is wild. Again, I'm just going to make a token and then I think I'm And then I'm going to mess around at the end of my opponent's turn. It might just get back this Acre Wellspring. Because I don't want to play into a soft stub, which appears is what they have. Yeah, and it's like, take whatever you want. I'll crack star. If I hit a land, then I can um, get back Ironworks and have uh, a soft stub covered. If not, I can just go get Icker Wellspring. Yeah, now I'm just going to go get Icker Wellspring, I think. I think we're just going to, like, sigh our opponent out of this game. Yeah, Spine was great for me in paper. I had Scales opponent just scoop through it. Now I had KC Iron Sign on board. Yeah. Okay, so let's go here. Play this, and again, we're just not going to play in the soft stub, and I think I'm just going to like one-shot my opponent, not even really going to attack them. I should actually just wait, turn off my auto yields. I should go here, because I might hit a one-mana spell, then I'm okay with them stubbing. 
Play that for turn, then we'll pass. We're even gonna gain life. Like we can just amass like a board that's nearly impossible for them to beat. And now they've tapped out a blue mana. So we can do we have free reign to do whatever we want. Yeah, and they just scoop it up. Okay. And we got them. That's pretty nice beating our worst matchup in the format right there. It's got to be our worst matchup. That or Infect, probably. Yeah, it's pretty much the nut there. Especially, like, that's why, that's when I realized that this deck, like, I wanted to revisit this deck because I was struggling with it. And then when I realized that, like, Psy is not only a good value piece, but it is also a good combo piece, then I was like, then the deck's nuts. I think you'll find Grixis Death Shadow is the worst or second worst matchup for this deck. Like, it's got to be this or Infect. Harry. I think Ben Jones posted some more data. And I think he was literally 19 for 19 against Ironworks playing Shadow. Yeah, it should be Bans. And I would have beat Ban Spirits, I think, if I would have motoed a little better. If I wouldn't have been streaming, I would have beaten it for sure. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand because we can go like cycle this into that. And we have an Ironworks and an Ancient Sterlings. So, well, yeah, because it's a difficult deck to play. If you have two equal pilots that play both decks, if you play, if you have two equal pilots, then you're going to. We're gonna play that before Eidolon. We could lose this game to Eidolon. Um, I'm gonna go Swift Spirit and Manamorphos. Okay, so this is the Phoenix deck. Like, yeah, I mean, if you get somebody that plays Death Shadow well, then they're going to beat beat them most of the time. So we'll take this. It's kind of a little bit of a beating. But again, they only have three cards. We can't really dilly-dally, so... So I can actually play this. Practice, make green, look for a land. All right, now these lands are much better than the other. Play this, play this. I was thinking you don't need the matchup to that unless you. No, it, it is that bad, Harry. Like, it, it's like just an absolutely awful matchup there. Okay, so now I have to think. I probably should try to go for it this turn, which means we start cycling. I'm going to use this one because we might lose it. You even drop from, from Death Shadow's point to Grixis Shadow or from Ironworks to against playing against Shadow. So I could just EE this away, but I don't want to just get like lightning bolted or gut shotted out of it, or I could just go for it. And I kind of just want to go for it. I have three, four, four redraws here. And I have like mana's not gonna be a problem. From Ironworks for a shot. Yeah, it's it's a it's a it's pretty atro atrocious. Yeah, I think you're just playing apes. All right, we need to hit here soon. Inventor's fair. Where I play land. Oh, yes, that would have been a good idea. You're right. You're right. That would have been a good, that would have been a good hold there, Runst. See, now we're punished.
Yep. I deserve that. Now we're likely dead. We actually can even win next turn, I think. As long as we don't die here, which is seems pretty likely. Yeah, I should have held the star to filter green mana because I could easily have done that with the Dark Steel Citadel and the Mox Oval. Lava Spike, okay. Wow, we go to one. Okay. Scrappy T. Okay. So we get Scrap Trawler. Play Inventor's Fair. We have plenty of mana. We might be able to spine them out of this. I think I can do this. I'm going to have to figure it out on the fly, but I'm pretty sure that I can do this. Because this is just two mana. What do I need? I need like a mirror retriever. So I sack this. Oh my god. Oh, now I don't have enough artifacts. Shoot. Damn it. Don't sack fair. Using EE for two free mana so that you can play Trawler, then it's fine. What are you saying here? So we go, oh, oh, because Spine gets back Trawler? No. Six. No, we don't have enough. Unless I sack my Scrap Trawler. Yeah, KCI is the best. It's just hard to play. I'm like struggling right now. So sack here. But I don't have enough mana. Because, like, this is five. Spine gets back Mindstone. I have to get up to seven mana first, though. Unless you're saying I have to sack the Scrap Trawler. Oh, wait. Tap my lands. Yeah, I'm stupid. I'm so stupid. I'm so stupid. So stupid. Um, scrap trawler gets back mine stone. Always yield. Always yield. Play this. No, we're going to go add mana. So this is a loop here that I can go get. I can actually just draw some cards and then loop my spine. Nice. No, you were right. I was just stupid. No, you were you were very right. So let's go get Mindstone. Play Sphere. Crack Sphere for green. Get back Mox Opal. So now this is a loop right here. Because now I go like this. Red. Play this. It took me a second, but we got it, chat.
This gets back Mox Opal. Always yield. This gets back Mox Opal. Or actually gets back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Pyrite Spell Bomb gets back Mox Opal. Mox Opal goes up to Spine. And then we just restart the chain. But I have to make sure to not. Because I had this isn't a May. So it's not exactly a loop. So I actually don't want this. I think I messed up. Target's like mine, some tap mine, some for mana. Sack it, get back a one drop. Yeah. But I can't I can't get spine back again. I can't play spine again. This gets back Terrarian. I think I, I think I messed it up there. I could just blow up my own stuff also. Yeah, I muffed up. At least I think I did. Yeah, I fucked up. So now I'm gonna like flounder. So come on, let me make sure, how do I loop, how do I loop this? Oh, spine targets itself. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I got what you're talking about now. Okay. Mind stone. I didn't know that, yeah. Yep, did not know that. So let's go here, crack this, get back Terrarian, cast Terrarian, get this back, get back Mox Opal, what? What? No. Okay, we're gonna have to just start it over again. No. Because I yielded to it. Yeah. So now I have to figure out how to like do this all over again. What a tilt. Okay, so I get back Terrarian, draw a card, Terrarian brings me back mana. Probably the best way to, I can't get back, I don't have any mana. Probably just get back to Rarian and pass the turn. And just cast it cast it next turn. Yeah. Well, we lose this one, we lose this one. Yeah, right there. Alright, now we're, we're fine. We're not super fine. But we can play a Dark Steel Citadel. Gonna be super fine. Mox Opal. Okay, yeah, now we're good. Play this. Play this. Get this. Play this thing. Okay, so this gets this, trigger on, shoot this, sack this, 
this gets back mine stone. So that's the loop for infinite cards and mana. For infinite infinite mana and with the spell bomb it's a kill. In paper it's a win and I would appreciate it. Okay. So always yield to that. Play this. Oh my god. I'm just all over the place. I'm just all over the freaking place right now. This is the hard part about streaming this deck. Mox Opal, get this back here. Green. Sack this. Play Scrap Trawler. Some quality content right here. As we bumble through our lives. But now we have two. It's not even a big deal. It's such a tough deck to stream here, which is going to make it, like, you know, a little hard here. But... Get these back. Alright, so now we go up. I don't know this spine loop very well, which is my problem. I hate it when my opponent scoops and doesn't let me go off. Oh man, how annoying. This is so annoying. All right, so let's do this loop again, just to like learn here and get this done. All right, spine, spine targets here. Why does it keep doing that? I turned off that auto yield. Okay, so now we get back. Mindstone and Icker Wellspring. I don't think it matters, but like, it's just annoying. Sack this. Get back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Get back Chromatic Star. Play this. Sack this. Get back in Opal. Get back in Opal. All right, now we're good. Play Opal. Play this. Shoot them. This gets back this. This gets back this. Uh, nope, not do that yet. Where is it? Icker Wellspring's right here. Now I play Icker Wellspring. Get this back. Which gets us back Pyrite Spell Bomb. Gets us back Chromatic Star. Then we just do one at a time, take everything out of our graveyard, which makes it faster. And now we just go like this. Spine targets itself. We sack spine with the trigger on. Now we get back Mindstone. Now we get back the Wellspring. So we're cooking now. We're just going to time out again, which is the annoying part. Let's 
Sack this. Get back Pyrite Spellbomb. Get back Mox Opal. Mox Opal back. Play this. Shoot them. Mox Opal some more mana back up. At least we're good now. We're 2 0 in our league. We're, we're only, this is the first game. We would be, we're not 2 0 in our league. We would be 2 0 in our league if we hadn't timed out. Opponent was dead on board and we were going to attack with all. The sad thing here is that I can't even, like, oh, get back Pyrite Spellbomb, get back Mindstone. Okay. Uh, get this. Get back Mox Opal, get back Chromatic Sphere. Play this. Shoot them. Play this. Make a bunch of mana. Play the spine. This shoots itself. We sack it. We get back Pyrite Spellbomb. We get back Mindstone. Okay. We go Mindstone. There must be like an easier way to do this now. Yeah, so we're just going to try to do this quicker now. So my opponent's at A. We only have to loop it like four more times. So we play this. Plenty of cards in my deck, so I'm not going to deck myself. But it's nice. I, that's the first time I've done that loop. So there's our retriever, so we can do the easier one, but we don't really have to worry about that now. It is nice that it's auto doing it now, but. Uh, I didn't have to sack that actually. So now we go here, then go here, go here. All right. Oh, I appreciate that, Tim. I hope you're having a good night here. I hope I beat this guy before timing out. Just saying. All right. Loops. So now we're going to try to win pretty fast, which I don't know if we're capable of. So if I win this game, I'm just going to type to my opponent, I'm glad you wasted your time. So I think we want this. Probably want some number. Let's see. Let me see if this is a deck guide for the Phoenixes. How are you, Tim? Oh, he doesn't have anything for the Phoenixes. So I probably want these because my opponent's going to bring in Eidolons. EE seems kind of slow. Spine also seems kind of slow, even though it won us the game there. Kind of on my side just to give myself a chance to win. I could bring in Nature's Claims. They have... Um, They could bring in some nature's claims in case they have whatever it is, uh, ley lines. And it also kills Eidolon and Shrine of Burning Rage. Oh, Tim, thank you very much for the sub. I'm going to watch 136 hours this week.
We worked 136 hours this week. Oh my god, Tim. That's wild. I want to take out some of like the slower things. And just kind of like interact a little bit and be fast. Yeah, I'm gonna try this. I'm trying to speed the deck up a little bit while having some interaction. All right, we're gonna be super speed again. God, I hope we win so that I can just tell my opponent I'm glad you wasted your time. <laughs> I appreciate y'all for showing up and hanging out. It's kind of a bit of a tough stream, choppy stream for me. Computer's tweaking out. Um, I'm gonna keep this hand as we got a stirrings. We get like a, a pyrite spell bomb to interact. We don't have an answer to that. I guess we do kind of have an answer to that. Tormod's Crypt. Okay. Play this first. <clears throat> We're gonna get like double arc like that of this game. Maybe they don't have ley lines. I guess they're not the hollow one version either. Wow, double phoenix. Hopefully they don't have anything to do here. Okay, um... Stirrings, found ironworks, any order, play this, play this, pass. We've actually got like a pretty solid turn four here, I think. It's just going to be tough to, like turn four might be too slow. It's probably not too slow if they're doing that. All right, so I think I'm actually going to play, play Bomb, pass. Actually, I'm just going to Bomb this right now so that it saves us a point. Oh, I need to go. Make red, green. Sack this. They have a bolt. It saves me a point of damage. And then I'm going to Tormod script this. But I might not be able to still not, not be able to go off next turn anyways. Oh, I can't go off because they're just going to exile my spell bomb. So I'm going to have to like find a Psy and then Make a million side tokens. So we're gonna do the same thing as we did last time, where we just attack with a we find side, make a bunch of tokens, and attack and kill them. I should have done that the other way. I should have, like, and, and again, like, if we didn't have four minutes on our clock, I would be doing that, but. Lava Spike. All right, I'm just going to scoop this one up. Here, we'll take 
It's like one draw step. Well, this is actually no, we're just dead. Yeah, that was sequenced a little poorly, but it didn't really ultimately matter. So now we're on the play. We got to find like a, a good side game in order to win this one, unfortunately. And like, we, if we lose this one, it's going to just because I didn't sequence. Like, I, I messed up my sequencing in the first game. I just don't didn't quite know how to like get it to work. So I'm supposed to like cut some more of these non-artifact cards to make it so that there's, there's more food for the psi. Get less than better than both. And you may want crypt. Yeah, that makes sense. Do you think the gal blasts are better than the bolts? I'll play first when I get this couple minutes left. I will mulligan. Alright, we have an ironworks and a stirrings. Put that on top. I mean, like we're we're pretty much going to time out here, but we can set something up at least. And that's just like the problem with learning this deck on Modo. We lose Ancient Stars on this turn, but this is like a pseudo land drop. Crypt, okay. Everyone is annoying. Go green here. I'll reveal. Mox Opal. Mox Opal lets me kill this thing. Then I can at least play Mirror Retriever. Why have people play Metalcraft Bolt, actual versus actual Bolt? Oh, I completely missed your comment above. Never mind, Skyder. Yeah. So, like, we can do stuff next turn if we don't just, like, die. But even then, we're going to set something up and then we'll probably just scoop it up because we can't get through this. Because if we draw one mana, if we draw like a star, we have the cast loop. <coughs> Which is infinite cards and infinite mana. I just had to play something new tonight. Yeah, I did go to the Envy this weekend. I went 4-4. Four and four. I went 3-1 in Modern, 1-3 in Standard. The problem is this Tormod script is going to like mess us up a little bit. Yeah, double Tormod script is going to mess us up. We, I think we even boarded out. Better than my 3 4 drop. I'm not prepared for standards at all. Yeah. All right, get this thing in play. And we're just going to, like, go for it here. Is 
this gets back chromatic star. I think I should fire one of these off. Okay, you can have that stuff. You draw a card. And then we pass. Now I think if we double block, and these die together, and they get each other back, is that how that works? No, that was already day two, I guess, I guess. Yeah, dude. No, they got rid of... Oh, I opted into it because I was looking here. You can opt out of it here, but, like, ignore game chat. But I figured I was going to need it for um, for this. Yeah, either way, we're just, like, we're... we're we're dead. And I think we actually would have lost this matchup here. I mean, there's a chance that I can play either one of the other games a little easier. Either one of the other games better. Because now we just go, like, double block. They die. Trigger at the same time. And then they Tormod script us. So we go like this. The Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. Yeah, scrap trawler gets back. Then they just crack it, yeah. Yep, and then we're dead. But sucking mind stone, then scrap trawler in response to crit, then sack the mirror, I think. Okay, so sack the mind stone. Sack trawler in response to crit, then sack the mirror. Cause then we get back a one. Well then if they just crack the other one. So you're going to sack Mind Stone, target Chromatic Sphere, then we sack Trawler, Ugh. then we sack Trawler, target like Mind Stone, because then they're going to go to, they go to Exile, and then we sack Trawler, to get back Mind Stone, and then, but that still doesn't work, right? Because like they have two of them, so there's no way we can really get anything back, right? Because if we make them, like they make a move, then we make another move, they then exile. If we sack Mirror Retriever. The only thing that we get back is Scrap Trawler. And we have Scrap Trawler against no Tormod Scraps. Right? And that's the that's another thing, the frustrating part about Moto. Like, if you, like, unless you're strapped for cash, I think, like, just scoop to your opponents to do that. Because every single person needs to learn how to play against this deck here. Like, if, you, if that's what your goal of Moto is. It's not everybody's goal, but if that is your Moto goal, like, learn. And the best way to learn is to play against this deck more. I'll keep his hands. Hands pretty explosive. Like, we need to draw an Ironworks, I guess. So maybe this hand's not that great, because it's one... Like, if we draw Ironworks, this hand's actually, like, I guess it's okay. Like, you're not going to mulligan it, but... It does have a little bit of the do-nothings. Flooded Strand. The old, this is like the Matt Folks Flooded Strand. All right, well now it just got good. So we're looking for an Ironworks. And I think I'm actually going to take one, two, three. I'm gonna take Inventor's Fair, because that could become Ironworks. But I'm gonna sand. I'm gonna have to sandbag this Inventor's Fair because if we're playing against a Field of Ruin deck, we don't want that to happen. So 
for playing against Bant. Yeah, playing against Spirits. Okay. Alright, so we'll still just... <clears throat> so now we can play our Scrap Trawler, and if it gets whacked, then we can next turn EE and still be in decent shape. Or we can just like play slow, but I doubt we're going to be able to play slow against, against uh, Bant. One, two, three, four. We could just wait and go get the iron work. Yeah, why don't we just time walk them? Like, if they're not going to play their spell player, they're still only just hitting me for two. Yield until next end step. Okay. Where's Celebration Instruments for the GP? Oh. Not, I, I actually didn't even know, like, it won the GP. I knew there was one doing well, but I didn't know that it was doing, that it won until after I rented these cards. All right, now I think I'm just going to, like, Try to get a bunch of mana in play. They have a selfless spirit. I'm in trouble. I guess I could just. I might as well just jam this, because then they might, like, get willy-nilly next turn. I think I'm just going to jam this, because if they don't have it next turn, if they don't have, like, a, another... Then I'm going to play a Scrap Trawler, and if they... if Then I'm going to play Engineered Explosives, and we're going to be able to E away, um, likely into a win, next turn. If they just pass with mana, then it's a little we're in a little harder uh, spot here. Just like go double captain. All right, there's one captain. And is this another captain? Come on. Great. All right. So we should be, we should do, we should be able to get him this turn, I think. We're going to make sure to leave both of these untapped so that they act as card draw for us. So we play this. We go blue, white, red, nope. Blue, white, red, engineered explosives for three. Blow these up. Get our ironworks back. Cast this. Sack. Sack. Play this. So now I think my opponent is in trouble. Now we're going to make colored mana. 
make green, get back mox opal, draw a card. Rejuvenate her wellspring, which is a good one. Not gonna use any of my colored mana yet, but we'll make a blue. Draw another card. Yeah, that EE was was nice. So another tip when playing this deck is you want to sack your things with lower CMC first. Now there's like obviously a you know it's not always true, but you want to keep the higher CMC things on top. Okay. So we messed up. So we didn't mess up, but get Terrarian. Mana's not gonna be an issue. Mindstone into Terrarian. So play this. I'm gonna do another, I'm gonna continue to loop this Mox Opal at least for a little longer. And red. Because we're gonna have to use mana for these mind stones, and we just don't want to run out. Like sometimes you you don't have to loop the Mox Opal to save time, especially on Moto. But for now, we're going to do it for at least a little longer. But we might not we'll just want to time out again. It's back. Mox open. We can just EE our opponent's board again if, like, we need to. All right. Spine. Chromatic Star. So Spine will get back all of our opponent's permanents. But I think we're just going to take another Trawler. Because it's just more cards. Sack this. And if we find a Mirror Retriever, it is infinite cards. Even though this is like pretty deterministic at this point. Oh, nope, shoot. Sack this, play this, make green. This gets back Mox Opal, this gets back EE. We hit that, so now I'm not going to loop colors this time. Now at least we're going to have all of our zeros out of our graveyard, which will make our fishing faster. Okay, so now play this, get back Sphere, get back Terrarian. Again, we could be looping Opals here, but we currently are not because we want to save time. Like it would be proper form to to be looping. Opals want to be 100% correct here. All right, well, there's another scrap trawler. Play that in a second. And again, all we're doing now is just fishing. All right, so let's play this. Now we'll probably have to like loop our um loop our trawlers. So we get back to Rarian or loop our mox opals because we're losing mana. And again, we wouldn't be losing mana if I didn't decide to lose mana. Because you know I wanted to save time. It's like a hundred percent at this point. It's just we can't we can't like make it go any quicker until we find the um until we find the retriever. And we don't have a pyrite spell on my graveyard, right? No. All right, so there's Mirror Retriever. 
So let's see if my opponent wants to show chat. Stop ignoring chat. So with the retriever, opal, and sphere, it's infinite mana and cards. I will find the pyrite win. It's a winning paper. So I would appreciate a scoop. Okay, so this gets back. Where is a chromatic star? And this gets back. Let's get back all of our ones to make this go faster. And I'm not even going to loop another one. Because now we just are going to draw infinite cards. This gets back Mox Opal. This gets back Mox Opal. We didn't hit. So now we're just going to like go through all of our ones that are in our graveyard in our in here before we present the loop again. Because I just want to do this for speed's sake. Still haven't hit the spell bomb. What a tilt. And again, this is our opponent just like I mean they don't have to do this for sure, but it is not great for us. And again, like we, we can't lose this because of we have an infinite loop here. I'm just choosing to do this quicker because I want to. And we're about to demonstrate like the actual loop here in a second because we're gonna run out of ones in our hand. Okay, so now we go. So now I'll just do the loop once. So when you get here, okay, when you've got this, to get infinite mana, you sack Mox Opal, make mana, you sack, then you sack Scrap Trawler, the scrap, the two Scrap Trawler workers get back Chromatic Sphere, get back an egg. You then go like this, make mana, sack this, brings back your Opal. Still haven't hit. So now that we're out, we go like this. We get back Chromatic Star. Mirror Retriever gets back Scrap Trawler. We then look again here. We hit a side. Is this thing just in my hand the whole time? No, it hasn't been. Whenever it's going to be quicker for me to kill them with Psy, probably it will be actually. Probably just be quicker to do it with Psy at this point. Just like play everything. And then when you get here, now you go sack this. Let me just go sack this thing one more time. Didn't hit it yet. So then now we go sack this. This gets back mirror retriever. Then we get back our egg. We play our egg. Like sucked. It was at the, the this was at like the bottom, whatever cards of our library. Now we play another one of these. Sack this. This gets back chromatic sphere. Mirror retriever gets back scrap trawler, and that's like the whole loop there that we've got it all done. But man, this pyrite spell bomb, man. Where are you?
Um, stackability automatically. Sorry, KCI. Get back chromatic star, get back mirror retriever. And now we're just like, we're doing it. There it is. Okay. So now, yeah, sure, we get that. Play this. There's the kill. Always yield. Oh, cancel. Play this. Sack this. Get back. Pyrite Spelly Bomb. Mirror Retriever gets back. Scrap Trawler. It's kind of nice we don't have to loop the Spell Bomb because we did that already. We're only gonna do this a couple more times, and then we can, uh, and then we can just kill them with, uh, kill them with like one attack. So what do we got? We've got 15. Okay, so my opponent is, especially with engineer explosives, they're dead next turn. So, like theoretically, I just rinse and repeat. Shouldn't dump all of my engineer explosives in case I have to kill something. But like, you know, now we can kill them with Psy next turn. And they're dead. So. But sometimes you get those people on moto that just gotta just gotta get it. Alright, block, block, block. They take 14, so let's just go red, blue. Now we just attack with everything. We got exactly 16 damage. If they flash in a blocker, we'll just like do the loop for a little bit. Okay. Whew. Let's go back to the Bant Spirits section. Show me how they want to sideboard. Bant on the draw. Cuts Mirror Retriever. Does he play two or just one? I'm looking up uh, Canister's uh, list right now. He plays one, so he just cuts it completely. Hmm. That's interesting. So he just he cannot loop on the draw or uh, against this deck. Cuts a scrap trawler, cuts a land, cuts one explosive, cuts his mind stones, brings in every way to deal with a creature, fire spout. I need to cut two things. He cuts a scrappy tea and two terrariums. All right. So we can't combo after sideboard, or we can't loop after sideboard. We can combo and like go up and down the chain. So like the best, one of our best ways to win will be like Psy, or it'll be like a Spina Vishna combo. <clears throat> All 
I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. We need to go. We need to play the sphere on turn one, and then even in the face of like uh, rest in peace, we can draw a card, which is nice. So maybe I'm supposed to mulligan this hand because I don't have a way to deal with Stony Silence. Okay. That's nice. That thing is dead, though. I will probably no turn off auto yields. Turn off auto yields. I should do this right now. And I'm gonna do it while I can't get stony silenced and still cantrip here. And I will likely use the gallop blast. This is just why I don't play in a spell color also. And next time we'll likely ancient stirrings because we can leave up lightning bolt for like this spell color here. Alright, then we're going to take Inventor's Fair. As it will become a combo piece later. And if they want to counter this, they can counter this, and we'll end up bolting to get it back. Wow, they just have no plays here? I'm not going to play that. Doesn't do anything. That's an interesting. They said nothing. They're just sitting on like counter spells. Wow, they cracked that thing or jigger too. There's nothing going on. I think they were supposed to do that on their main phase in case they hit. Because if you're not going to quell something, they must have a spell quell. They just didn't determine this was worth it. Okay. Play this. Oh no, no, don't play that one. Play this. Play this. I could just bolt this thing to so we don't get companyed, but we have an engineered explosives to deal with the company. Oh no, I already played that, so yeah, we're definitely gonna bolt this thing. Probably should have cycled. Yeah, I had to play the Chromatic Star in order to turn on the Mox Opal to get blue mana. So, definitely bolting. I thought I had the Chromatic Star still. <clears throat> so now they have Company. Bant, Bant, Company. Wow, they just, I don't know what they kept, but like they're just not doing anything. So I think I'm actually just going to like go get Ironworks on their end step. Because, like, we can at least kind of go nuts next turn. And if they hold up spell color, then we'll just play, like, Icar Wellspring and have Engineered Explosives or the other thing up. It doesn't really matter what we do, because with this Psy, we've just got them on multiple different angles. If we win, I want to be like, I'm glad you wasted your time in game one.
All right, so now we're definitely going for it. Because even like unify, they need like straight up negate to get away with this now. Correct plan ironworks. And we drew this gravity T. Okay, that works too. I think it's still good to just jam there. Now we can start just like drawing cards, grinding them out a little bit, and eventually we'll find a way to produce an insurmountable advantage. I hope everyone's having a good day. Appreciate y'all. Now you're showing up into this. Watch some ironworks. It's a little choppy because it's just tough to like. It's tough to stream this deck. Like we're currently two and one in the league. We're one and two, but we timed out one that we would have won pretty easily. It's a nice little piece of insurance. So we'll add blue. Sack this. I'd like to hit a land drop. We hit a land drop. Nature's Claim is nice. Uh, it's good, like, insurance policy. I likely sequenced wrong and should have left up one more piece of color mana for this reason. I'll play a scrap trawler. And then pass. Next turn we can. So how does this work? Fire spout deals three damage. We can do three damage to each creature with flying. We can go like sack sack this. Draw two, draw a card, then wipe, and then get their board off of here. Especially if they tap low or something like that. Six mana. We got a primeval titan coming down here. What are they tapping six mana for? What do they need six for? Stone and silence, okay. Oh, it's for like collected company, I guess. Cuts us off mana a little bit. It's a little tad annoying. That's a nice draw. So now we just cast it. They company in response. That's a spell caller. Okay. This thing off the board and I guess I could just wipe their board here I would get rid of my tokens but getting rid of my tokens seems kind of loose yeah I don't want to get rid of my tokens I'm gonna try to get some blocks going on and like drawing two cards or draw, draw, two, draw a card at the end of their turn. I do need to be conscious of the time here. But I think I'm going to win this game. I just don't think they have an answer to the side. I think that like they're going to lose because of it. Maybe if they play like another Stony Silence or something like that. We've got that answer because we're going to be able to kill this spell caller.
Boom, tap. This gets back Chromatic Star. Always yield. Always yield. We have another backup, which is just nice. Oh, I didn't sack the right one. Whoops. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Going good in Beelman. Playing some Ironworks tonight. Max my scrap taller. Okay. This gets back Ichor Wellspring. <coughs> so it's better to EE for three. It's probably better to fire spout. Because if they have a spell caller, then the fire spout will still do something later in the game. So we want to do green deals damage to each creature with flying. Let's do red too. If they spell color this, we just we guess we can't really bolt the spell color. Oh, I should have played. No, I'm still okay. That's what I was going to tell you. It was really nice to meet you. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy meeting people. It's always fun. Another spell color here is kind of annoying. Okay. Always yield. Uh, no, not going to cast that one. I am going to cast that, get a Thopter, always yield. So now we got to start to close this game out here. We'd like to hit a land or a Mox. I'll just play two of these, get two Thopters. And then start getting off to the races. Oh, yep, yeah. didn't even think about that. Delicious waffles. <clears throat> no, you're right. You're 100% right. Oh, no, 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 no. Now they can block this. This is so bad. Sorry, we have another one, but we're, we're trying to, like, move now. And we're getting, uh, we're getting some poor habits going on here. So you just trade. It's okay. We'll cast another one. And we'll just build back up. But this is loose. This is very loose. Because it just like deals us. He gets rid of three mana. Or next turn. So this was this was loosey goosey from the home team. Talking about two years ago. I'm going to my first PT. Dude, that's awesome. Congratulations, man. Going to the PT is very cool. This is the hard part about streaming this deck is like. Oh, that's annoying. <coughs> Is you just let's go blue blue. You just like miss things. I could just actually cycle these to try and hit as well. Always yield. All right, we're going to leave the rest of these in play. Just going to cast this opal. Then I'm going to attack with these three if they want to trade here. Cashing your first PJ. Play Advanced Spirits. Nice. It's a good deck. 
It's a very good deck. Now I can't really EE for three, so I have to block this guy, which is kind of annoying. But they can't attack with it, like. They're just gonna make a thing and trade, that's okay. Dude, it is a very good deck. It's a very, very good deck. Alright, so they're just gonna try to go for Okay. Practice. Always yield. Spine. That's nice. One, two, three, four, four, four. four five, six. Alright, so we can't cast spine yet. But I will go like this just so that we can draw some more cards. Okay, another size is decent. Go like the no, no, we don't have any blue spells we want to cast. I just want to keep making tokens. You almost played Hollow One. Hollow One's decent. There's a lot of good decks that can just win games in modern. Alright, Terrarian. Alright, now let's get in here. We're going to attack for six in the air. I don't remember if I played a land or not. Sorry, I mean, if they want to try to grind through each one of these, and that's alright. Just trade, deal four. Play my land. I will pass. I'm going to leave the spell bomb in order to deal two damage. Next turn, we can one, two, three. If we draw a land, I'm actually going to cycle the spell bomb. So that if we draw a land, we can hit this Moreland Haunt. Okay, get spell colored. You got it. Bolt this. I will cast it. KCI. So now even without a Psy, or without a, uh, um, even without whatever it is, we can get rid of this thing here, which is going to be important, without Scrap Trawler. Yield. Get rid of the Moreland Hot and crack for a bunch of damage. They make a token. And now it's we're in good shape.
send in the insects. I'm just gonna F6 through my turn, their turn, so we just don't make sure we have time. Like I don't think there's gonna be anything that we really can do here. We're pretty close to be able to like looping this spine. I'm gonna block with a Psy and three token. And I'm just gonna block with get this thing off the table. Because like there is a world where this thing kills me, and if they company in a double lord, it still dies, and we have another Psy. They could just be trying to like buy themselves time. I don't really know what I'm worried about here from them. I guess like there's just nothing that's that scary. Shouldn't tap that. Um, let's go blue. Do this. Just sack this. This. Look at a scrap trawler from going absolutely nuts, but we probably can just win without the scrap trawler. Alright, let's just play another ironworks, and then I'm just going to crack for a bunch of damage. I'm just going to attack with a Psy because if they had company, I think they would have companied into a way to I'm going to hold this spine also just in my hand. I don't really want to hit a land. We beat Van Spirits twice tonight, which is pretty impressive. Like, I would have thought that this would not have gone this way. <clears throat> we could never loop the spine. That was, I guess we kind of could. this. Draw some cards. Should have done that. Draw some cards. Uh, what does Buried Ruin do for me? Nothing really. Oh, it gets back Scratch Holler. So the nice thing about this is that this basically 100% does a kill next turn between having enough tokens. So I'm just going to play it, get it in there. We could, like, get rid of all of my opponent's... Um, lands here, but it's just not worth the clock. Play this, blow this thing up. And then swing on in there. 
<laughs> it's gonna be a, we're gonna do one more tonight and then we're gonna call it. God, if he settled the wreckage as me, how sick would that be? Looks like we have the moto concession going on here. Just pausing up. I'm going to restart moto after this game, and then we're going to get the last one going. All right, we'll restart moto, and then we're going to get in here for the last match of the night. Actually, it's 11 o'clock. I have to be up in six hours. I think I'm actually going to call it for the night. We'll put this deck list up here. Yeah, I think this deck's really good. I think it's the nut. Like, it's probably just like the it's probably the best deck in the format. I don't really think it's particularly close. Thanks, Tim. But yeah, it's 11 o'clock. I'm gonna call it for tonight. This deck's tough to play and it's tiring, but. So we'll see you all next time. We'll be back tomorrow. I'm probably going to play something different than this. Probably some like Phoenix. Yeah, this deck's the nut. Yep, take it easy, Tim. I will see all of you guys next time. Thank you very much.